hello viewers welcome back in today's lesson we'll look at yet another exciting topic two tip let's get started okay kindly press on the like button and also please subscribe if you've not done that already so don't forget to press on the notification bell so that you always be notified whenever I upload new video all right so in today's lesson we'll look at two tips basically what is two tips okay so if we look at items on the menu bar you can see that immediately I point to any item it gives me a description beneath if I go here I get windows window color if I come here I get uh, print in inter scada whilst you are developing your scada items you can give these descriptions to your items so that they will basically display the description of the item instead of you let's say keeping the item at the top section of the object okay so let's look at quickly how to achieve that so if i double click on this and then i go to miscellaneous we can see that the last item on it is called tooltip okay so i click on it and then it opens this interface for me you can see that we have the two tip attributes we have the expression and then we have the static test so we will look at the static test so we will click on static test and then we can give the description so for instance this is our job in sensor so we say job in sensor i click on ok ok again and then let me assign the next this basically is our conveyor motor i go to two tip and then automatically it gives me the description this is conveyor motor okay click on okay okay again i go to the slider to tip and this is going to be our level i can come also to the sub the tab button to a description and then give a description let's say to sub window to sub window click on ok and then ok again all right so we can go to runtime and then observe okay so we have the runtime now and then you can see that if i point to it job in sensor if I point to this conveyor motor level perfect so basically this is how you can add comments to devices that when immediately you send the cursor to it it will give a specific description of that particular object all right can we go ahead and practice this we'll see you in the next section with another exciting topic see you bye bye